So what exactly happens to gut health when you become pregnant? Do you just follow your cravings and be like, ah, oh, forget it, I'm pregnant. I'm just going to eat whatever I want. Well, keep watching because in today's video, I'm going to discuss pregnancy and your gut health. And I'm gonna give you five things you can do if you're pregnant or know somebody who is to improve your gut health for you and your baby. And if you stick to the very end, number four, maybe a tip that you want to take with you even after you're pregnant. Guys, let's talk about poop. Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here, AKA your poop guru, trying to keep you happy and healthy from the top all the way down to the bottom so you can live your best life. And maybe you are pregnant or you know somebody who is pregnant. You could be wondering, all that cravings that I'm feeling, all that food I'm wanting to eat, am I damaging my gut health and maybe my newborn as well? So in this video, we'll discuss what exactly happens to your gut microbiome when you become pregnant, how that can change the pregnant individual's bacteria, and how that affects your kid as well. And at the very end of the video, I'll give you my top five tips I recommend to improve your gut health when you are pregnant. So let me tell you a story about a patient of mine named Mandy. Mandy was in her third trimester of pregnancy and she came to see me because she noted she just was not feeling so good. This is beyond the normal pregnancy issues she was having because this was her third kid and she knew exactly what to do. But she felt bloated, distended, had diarrhea and constipation, had a lot of gut issues and she knew something was not working correctly in her gut. In fact, foods in which she previously ate were giving her all sorts of issues now like joint issues, migraines, analytic stomach issues, and Mandy is not alone. Whenever you are pregnant, there is a human being inside your belly, and that dramatically changes how your GI tract reacts to foods, how it digests, and it can affect your microbiome as well. So what exactly happens when you come pregnant to your gut bacteria and your GI tract? Well, there are trillions, yes, trillions, with a capital T, of bad guys and good guys called bacteria inside your GI tract, all interacting to take influence of what's going on inside your gut. And pregnancy can affect that. So the mother's diet during pregnancy plays a dramatic role in terms of what good guys prevail and what bad guys get shot down, or maybe vice versa. If you have foods that are high in saturated fat, a lot of carbohydrates that are not good for you, sugars and sweets, things that we crave when you're pregnant. Well, I don't really crave them because I've not been pregnant, but my wife has. That can lead to the bacteria inside your GI tract to become imbalanced and lead to conditions like leaky gut, IBS, or other gut dysbiosis. And studies have shown that this can increase inflammation inside the body of a pregnant lady and has a chance of leading to diabetes both to the mom and to the child as well. But this is not the only way that pregnancy can affect the gut microbiome because the hormones involved with pregnancy, estrogen and progesterone, play a significant role in terms of how your GI tract works and what it's influenced by. And the interaction between these hormones affect how your metabolism is slowed down, how it affects the absorption of food, and how those nutrients get deposited to your baby and to yourself as well. So what about the baby's health? Well, guess what, Captain Obvious? The baby's health is 100% affected and influenced by the mother. So what the mother does to her body is going to affect the baby as well. But there are certain things that can happen during pregnancy that can make the gut microbiome unique to the baby. One is how you actually get delivered. So infants that are delivered via vaginal delivery have a higher chance of having better bacteria in their gut microbiome and the bacteria forms a foundation for better bacteria as they get older as well. When you compare that to a cesarean delivery, you can see a dramatic change in how the gut microbiome is and that influences how you metabolize and can lead into conditions like gut dysbiosis and leaky gut. One of the other ways that you can influence your baby's gut microbiome is how you choose to feed the baby once they're born. Did you know that you can still influence them once they're delivered and they're being with you? Bottle feeding 
versus breastfeeding. And sometimes that change in terms of how you feed will influence the natural immunity, the natural bacteria, and what's going on inside the gut microbiome. And we have found that children that are breastfed tend to have a more diverse array of good bacteria, are able to fight off immunity, and are able to prevent themselves from developing gut conditions like IBS or leaky gut. So what exactly can a pregnant or expectant mother do to improve their chances of allowing their kid to have the best gut microbiome ever? Here are five tips I recommend. Number one, eat more prebiotic foods. So prebiotics are the fertilizer, the seed for the good guys already inside your GI tract. They provide the steroids to make them strong and the feed to improve the good guys to suppress the bad guys. The more prebiotic foods you incorporate into your diet when you're pregnant, the better it's going to be for you and for your loved one right here as well. These include foods like bananas, asparagus, garlic, apples and oats. These are fantastic sources of great prebiotic foods. Number two, consider adding probiotic foods. So probiotics are foods that have live bacteria in them and they actually help to get that bacteria inside your GI tract to supplement the troops that are there. Now be very careful when it comes to probiotic foods, especially if you're pregnant because there are certain foods you may not want to eat such as unpasteurized cheese or foods like that. So always when you're trying to incorporate probiotic foods, speak to your healthcare provider about whether these foods are safe for you or not. Things that are typically safe include items like kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, misu. These are fantastic foods that have a lot of prebiotic strains in them. And you may ask, hey, Dr. Islam, what about a probiotic? Well, let me give you my spiel on this. Probiotics are pills in which they assume it's a one size fit all. Well, guess what? Your gut bacteria is unique. It's special. It's just for you. And sometimes a one size approach doesn't work for everyone. So I'm not a big fan of that. I'm more of a fan of adding those prebiotic foods and the probiotic foods to naturally enhance what is going on. Number three, make time for good sleep. I know you're pregnant. You're like, come on. I have this big old belly. I'm trying to get some sleep. It's not going to happen. I understand, but do the best that you can. At least put the odds in your favor. Go to sleep at the same time every single night, including the weekends. Avoid caffeinated drinks in the afternoon. Turn off your phone, unless you're watching my videos, whenever you're about to go to bed. Decompress, turn off the lights, do what you can to improve the odds in your favor that you're going to get better sleep to improve your and your baby's gut microbiome. Number four, reduce your stress level. All right, easier said than done, right? But you can do this because guess what? You're fixing to have a kid and I can tell you that stress is going to go way up. So do what you can now to employ those habits to minimize stress. Whether it's going for a walk, meditate, pray, exercise, get rolling, pick up a hobby, start it now so that whenever you are in that actual stressful state, when you have a new kid, a newborn, you've already had the habits in place to minimize that stress. And by doing that, you're going to improve your good guys and incorporate habits in your daily life. And number five, consider breastfeeding. Look, if breastfeeding is for you, do it. It's gonna help out with your baby's gut microbiome, but it's okay if you don't, that's fine. There are other ways you can improve your baby's gut, but try and see how you do. So here's my call to action for you guys. If you're an expectant mother, try to incorporate these tips. Add more prebiotic and probiotic foods. Speak to your healthcare provider about what you can do to improve your gut health. Get that sleep, get that exercise, and do what you can. Start it today. So my question of the day for you, what would you add to this list? What would you change? Have you tried to do things whenever you are praying to improve your baby's gut microbiome? Comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe so you can get notifications that you're watching my videos to improve your gut health on a natural and easy way. Guys, don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks, everyone.